Okay, as you can see, um, I've got my uh, little helper here with me today. Um, I have my silicone mat. This is actually a great mat for uh, working on electronics and other um, craft-like items. Anything that might mess up your tabletop or your um, your work surface or uh, even tablecloth like we've got today. Certainly don't want to... Um, do any soldering on a tablecloth or something that can get burned or messed up. So this is great. It's got a super high um, uh, uh, temperature um, durability, super high um, uh, burn temperature. You know, solder doesn't bother it. You can put like a hot soldering iron on it. it doesn't bother it. It can, it can, it can uh, withstand quite a bit of abuse. It's got all these little pockets for holding um, not only your tools, but your parts. Uh, there's tons of stuff on here. Um, and uh, so anyway, I highly recommend it. Uh, I can put the link in the um, in the video for you guys. And uh, I have, uh, so I've already gotten started. Um, I know it's a bummer because everybody wants to see it from the very, very beginning and I should have done it, but um, for some reason I wasn't filming yet. So um, I'm just gonna show you, it's actually really simple with this laptop. So I've had, I've done this on many laptops and this one is, um, I'm going to say it's the, it's the simplest laptop so far. So, um, in order to open the case and get at the innards of it so that you can do this RAM upgrade, um, there's no cables. Um, once you take the back, the bottom plate off, there's nothing attached. It's really simple. So I'm going to just show you real quick. I'm using, um, I'm using my, uh, handy dandy. Hey buddy. <laughs> What do you got? Avocado? Oh, okay. Well, I'd be excited about that too. All right. So, um, yeah, we're using the um, this little uh, Pittsburgh. So I believe I got this from uh, Harvard Freight. This is the um, this is just a micro screwdriver bit. Um, so there's there are um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's seven screws, and uh, these are the first ones I took off. And these are uh, retained, so you just you know do this little deal, righty tighty lefty loosey. So we're gonna do lefty loosey. Retained means that they don't fall out. They actually have like a little collar in there, and it holds them in. So you um, you loosen these up until you just hear them kind of going dink 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 dink, and they won't come out anymore. And then you're done. And then these screws, one was here, one was here, one was here, one was here. One was here. So two on each side. Sammy. <laughs> yeah, so um, we got two, we had two on each side. So those were not retained. So I just unscrewed those. Do, 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 do. Took those, put one here, another one here, put it here, um, put the same here, put it here, this one here, put it here. Then I'm going to close this little part holder, close this little part holder. I put my tool back over here. And then what I did is you start to pry. So I got a little pry tool here. Um, I also have a couple of others um, in like a little bag thing that I got from a screen um, kit that I ordered once way back a long time ago for an iPod. And, uh, and then you just, you just proceed to start prying a little bit with your little plastic pry tool. Um, and this starts to come up. And then you kind of work your way down the side. It's not really, uh, it doesn't require a lot of effort. Just did that just came down here and um and then it'll just pop it'll just you'll get it to pop up there so like that so we got that off that's the inside cover see no cables to worry about nothing like that so i'm just gonna set that aside and here we are with um the interior of the laptop so uh got your um <clears throat> Your uh, SSD drive here, of course your fan, your battery pack, 54 watt hours, Dell. And then, this is what we're looking for here, um, you got your DIMM chips. So DIMM 1, DIMM 2, DDR4 only. By the way folks, um, always make sure that you are grounded um, and that you're not um, taking a chance with stack electricity. I couldn't find my shoulder strap, I mean my wrist strap, um, grounding strap 
and I really needed to get this done. So I just made sure that I touched the case and I've grounded myself and we're not in a high static environment here anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, work at risk. All right, folks. So um, bear with me as I struggle one handed um, holding the camera and trying to do this. But first, I should say that um, one thing it's really a good thing to do whenever you're doing work on your laptops is to disconnect the battery before you get started. Um, I um I am not because I'm um I don't know that's probably uh, it's a good idea and I should be doing it but um for whatever reason I'm not so I'm just gonna um take this uh, open this flap here where the dim slot is there we go I had some of this this thing this tape uh that is covering these components here um went over the side of the flap and it just got stuck as you can see so. That's done. So now, um, just need to spread these little um, retainer clips here, which uh, would be very easy to do with one, with two hands, but with one, I'll just do them kind of sequentially. There we go. You just pull those little things back. Your dim comes out. Uh, you can see that it is, or maybe you can't. Uh, no, that's not very clear. Well, it's a four gig. Um, dim chip. So there are two. That makes eight gigs. That's what this laptop came with. Um, I have no idea <clears throat> why I bought an eight gig laptop when I knew I would need 16. Probably, I don't even remember what my decision process was. I probably was saying, oh, well, you know, it's a hundred dollars more for the, or whatever, 200, 150 dollars more for the eight, for the 16 gigs over the eight gigs. Um, so I can, and I can do it myself. So why, why spend the money? So it's probably something like that. So I said, I'll just do it myself. All right. So, um, let's get back to the install. So as you can see, there's a, there's a, um, there's a slot and the slot is slightly off center. Be great if it's a little more off center because it would be easier to see. Um, but that slot is a little off center and that is what tells you which side to put your dim. Uh, which direction should be up because if you do it that way the, the little slot doesn't align with the tongue so we're going to flip it over so that the slot does align we're going to lay that in um, where the contacts are first and we're going to press so that um, it is fully inserted there we go you have to kind of go up and down into it and then we're going to press this down to a clip there we go. So those retaining clips are in. Dim one is installed, the new one. We're gonna release dim two, old dim two. Uh, as I fumble with my one-handed operation here. And let's switch hands, how about that? It'll be a lot easier since I don't have my tripod with me and to hold the camera, but. Okay, that's out. So yeah, that's a, another four gig um, dim that we have no need for now. So uh, so yeah, anyway, going back to the um, the laptop, I uh, for some reason I bought with eight gigs. It was probably a lot cheaper. And I said, oh, I did the math and figured I could just upgrade it myself for less money overall. You know, not thinking of the hassle factor of doing it, which really honestly is not a big deal. So got that dim in there, Let's make sure it's fully seated, push it down, clipped in with the retainer clips, that's done, I'm gonna press down the little uh, flaps, I don't think I'm going to uh, put that tape back over there, because it really isn't necessary, once the uh, back of the laptop's on there, that's gonna stay uh, flat, and um, do it once over, make sure I didn't drop anything into the laptop that I'm then going to seal up forever, um, so now we're going to take our case. We're going to put it back on. Um, I don't know how well you can see here, but at one point this laptop uh, got knocked off of a table that it was sitting on and landed right on the corner. So you see on the Dell and Spiron, um, they have a very short, sharp um, aluminum corner. Actually so sharp that um, when you're holding on your lap, it, it can hurt your leg. Uh, I'm not sure why they went with this um, 
thought it was a good idea. You know, it does great design aesthetic, whatever, but um, in, in usage, um, it's not great because it's a, it is a really sharp, tight aluminum edge and it does hurt. So, uh, so anyway, this thing got knocked off the table, landed right on the corner and bent that edge in, um, which amazingly has made it really much nicer. Uh, looks terrible, but it no longer is really sharp on this side and doesn't dig into my leg. So, you know, look at that serendipity. Um, that's how, that's how um, magic happens sometimes by accident. Happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. Now, you okay, buddy? Yeah. yeah? Okay. <laughs> the only downside is that, uh, slight downside, is that um, it just makes the case a little tough to um, to reseat on there. But not no no big deal. We can get it in there. All right. So we're going to pop this down as far as we can get it without screwing it in. Uh, those retained screws are going to keep it from going all the way down in the back until we actually start screwing those in. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to now use our righty tighty motion. We're going to tighten that in. Not going to bear down too much. Just kind of uh, finger tight. Oops, we don't need that yet. We're going to continue on to our middle one. There's three of these retained screws in the back. Do that one. Definitely don't want to strip it. So don't overdo it. Don't want them loose, but we don't want them too tight. There's no need for them to be super, super tight. Um, and the next person that comes along has to open these things up. Well, thank you. Plus, you won't strip your, strip your uh, bolts. Okay, so that one um, needed a little um, nudge from the screw to uh, pop it in, and which it did. Um, the uh, sort of the inner clip that's on there. And that one. There we go. I just didn't push down enough. Okay. So I'm going to give it a little more. Just a little more slack in there. That's tight. That's tight. And that's tight. Now we're going to take our screws from our little um, pod back there of uh, on our silicone mat. Um, Oops, that fell. But uh, that's another good thing about the silicone mat. It tends to trap things when they fall so that they don't um, just bounce and go immediately to the floor like they would if you were working on just like a typical hard surface like a table. Top. You, know, you drop one of those screws on a super hard surface that is um, that, that doesn't give at all and those suckers are going to bounce they are going to bounce Come, buddy. you want to get down okay all right so we're going to put in this next screw and these things are really tiny and they are sometimes challenging to uh, seat in there well, so make sure you don't cross thread it. Make sure it's threaded properly. If this one actually goes in, add a bit of an angle. Okay, we are going to take the last two screws. All right, there we go. That one is in there righty tidy So that's done. So you've got all the screws in. Three, four, five, six, seven. Our Dell Inspiron 5410 has been um, upgraded as far as its memory goes. So I'm going to put the camera down. All right, folks. So uh, restarted it. Took uh, just a a few seconds like maybe 20 seconds for the uh, laptop to start up from a cold start um, the Dell the little Dell icon popped up or the big Dell icon popped up and now it's saying that um, the amount of system memory has changed correct so um, I think, uh, we're gonna go into the BIOS setup 
Install 32768, 32768, memory available 32580. So, um, memory's good. It, it recognized it all. It was able to um, take advantage of that full 32 gig. So, even though Dell says it only supports um, 16 gigs, it really can go to 32, which is awesome. So, um, we're done there. Okay, folks, um, in case you're really skeptical, like I usually am, um, and uh, don't believe you're just your BIOS alone, um, I'm going to show you the uh, task manager here to show you that the memory has, in fact, increased. So it says here, memory 36.4 gigs used out of 31.7 right here. So um, it's got it. It's now a 32 gig laptop.